thank you for coming in. It's Good nice morning. to see you. Morning, nice to see you. So those pictures were taken when? Like October. It was before my birthday, I'm sure. So I, I, I mean, it's so weird that they've come out now because, yeah. like, I've done really well since then. So that's a bit annoying. It feels like ten steps backwards. Yeah. So, so, so the, the the business is um, uh, that it, it is well known that some celebs tip off the paps or organise the shots and get the pictures taken, and then they might get a bit of a backhander if they can get them out there or they've got something to promote. Or you're saying that's not the case. No, it's not. I've done that. Don't get me wrong. I've done that before. Like, I'm a single mum, like to earn my money however I can, like, you know. But these pictures were a complete shock that they came out last week to me, like, genuinely complete. In fact, I was looking through the Daily Mail. Am I allowed to say the Daily Mail? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was looking through that. And Other swear words are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was just, I'd go on there every day just to browse about other people. And then you see yourself on there and I think, oh my God, that just, that, no. Like, it, if I would have been prepared, I would just wouldn't have gone on that day. Yeah. And Do you know what I mean? It. And the thing is, it's not just the photos, it's the people's <sighs> reaction to those photos mm. online, on social media. And it has been cruel. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, whatever news sites, Daily Mail, whoever, it's been on the sun, I think, as well. If you've got photos of somebody that you want to use, use them, that's their job. Like, I understand that that's what they do in order to get clicks and blah, blah, blah. But surely, like, moderate the comments a bit more. Like, if you're going to have these photos on and you're going to allow people to comment on, on things... So you read the comment section at the bottom of because, those online pages? Yeah, because... I, I mean, that I is like usually. looking up the devil's bottom. That is literally That's, like, hi. That, that is yeah, where really the trolls is. live, <laughs> down there. Never <laughs> yeah, look down there. I know, why would I do that? It's the wrong week in the month for me. If it would have been last week or next week, but this week is not a week you want to, like, put a horrible story up about me because I will go there, like, time of the month, you just want to look at depressing stuff, oh, don't you? No. Like, And there was one, I mean, there was one in particular and oh, this is what this is you wild. found really good you don't mind we're going to i think we're going to show it because i think it's good to show it to realize the human face behind it so this is helen flanagan and you on a split screen and it says hashtag spot the difference and then the idea is is that people were saying this was me before christmas yeah. and then over the christmas i've i've put on weight and it's extremely cruel because it cruel. if it would have been a cartoon or something it's hilarious like i've posted one years ago on my instagram of barbie skinny and then like a chubbier barbie and said oh this is me before christmas this is me after christmas barbie's not real there's nobody there to get upset about that but also you can say stuff about yourself yeah surely. like if you want to poke fun at yourself or say things about that that's fine but yeah. it's it's i think it's people forget that behind those things there is a person i mean it was extremely hurtful Usually, it's like water off a duck's back with me, especially if I'd made a point of arranging paparazzi shots. Then, to me, brilliant, you're paying my bills, thank you. But the fact that I actually hadn't, it probably hurt me even more because I wasn't expecting it. Mm. And I just, uh, just feel like there's no need to go there, especially when I, I, I am trying really, really hard. Mm. And, it, and it is hard, especially with two kids on my own and trying to earn a living here, there and everywhere. And... Like, I've got the willpower of a sloth. Like, I just genuinely have really struggled. Yeah. And I think, as well, what's hurtful is when people, like, say to me, oh, you... In fact, whilst I was in the green room, I had a message on Twitter, you know you can be slim and be a mum. And I was like, yeah, I do know that, but it's also, like, it is a hard thing. But aren't, aren't those things normally said by really rather sad, lonely people? Yeah, but it, it's still being said. You could say it by anybody. And, and mm. most of the time, three quarters of the time, I would be like, I'll oh, get a grip of yourself. But sometimes it really does just. Well, hit we discussed a nerve. this on here before because it, it's, it's almost like, and we've discussed it with, uh, with the campaigns that, that mm. we've run on, on bullying, that it's, it's like death by a thousand cuts because. That one person sends that one thing in and thinks, ah, it's, it's, it's a bit of fun, it's a bit again. of fun. But not realising that, in fact, there are hundreds and hundreds yeah. and hundreds. So every single time, every one of those is a little cut on your, on your emotions. Yeah, it's really, it is nasty and it is it was extremely upsetting. But, like I say, usually it doesn't bother me, but it mm. really did, it did bother, it did bother me this time. Because I am trying really hard and it is just a bit of a struggle. Oh and God, the other thing You is... can tell that it's this time of week in the month because I'm getting all teared up. No, now. no, no, that's all right. <laughs> um, I mean, it is... It, you are, as you said there, you've lost two stones since then and you do 
you are trying, but you've said in the past when you were much slimmer, people still found an issue yeah. with you. So even if you lost, yeah, even if you chose to lose all the wave, weight, or you could wave a magic wand now and that would be that, mm. people still have it. People have always got something to say. Well, yeah, then it'd be my hairline, or then it'd be that I've got two children and no boyfriend, or then it'd yeah. be it'd be something. And well, I, and... This is what we were. This is what we were talking about. I thought we'd let you talk talk a little bit before we actually showed that. And that and that and that. <laughs> I mean, you know, I wouldn't that... mind, but if you've got the same hair, and when other people wear messy buns like that, they look so nice. But I just look like Miss Trunchbull. So the fact that they've used that as well, like, and they, it's just, oh god, whatever. Helen's so good. But the thing is, if you're making things like that, and people might see that as funny, actually, like, look at the reaction it's having. It, it, it and is it extra, hurts. It is and why am I wearing yellow today when that's... I, just, I did not think that through. I should have put a different mm. colour on. You wear what you like. Don't oh, worry about Christ. that. Um, body confidence. I mean, this time of year, people are all thinking about their bodies and their weight, so New Year, let's change things. It doesn't help, does it, this? No. Like, Especially when eating such an emotional thing. It is, and I've always had such a horrific relationship with food and my emotions... Even when I was like a size four to six, I still would eat so unhealthily. And most people, like Cheryl Cole, when she breaks up with somebody, gets so skinny, doesn't she? Because she just doesn't eat. I eat my feelings. It's like, oh, I'm sad. Give me a donut. Oh, I'm upset. Give me this pizza. Mm. But then when I'm celebrating, I'm like, oh my God, yay, let's get some girl for food. So everything revolves around food, which is kind of why I've done really well since my birthday because. Shocker, we went out for food and I looked at the photos and they were just horrendous. I just felt disgusting. And so I just thought, right, do you know what? This is it now. You know, Celebrity Slim's just around the corner. Luckily, they're in Huddersfield. So I've really, really focused on that plan for two months. So um, you've got, have you've got a, you're working with them, you've got a deal with them? I, I've got a deal with them, but I found them like on my own because I wanted somewhere that was local, something that was achievable to like mums who are really busy. I don't want to have to like, weigh things out and, like, cut things up. So all of this, I'm assuming, is not brilliant for your relationship with Exactly, like, with them. <laughs> got myself into a bit of trouble, to be honest. Mm. But, like, luckily, they're a really, really good brand. And regardless of whether I lose the weight or not, I really support their message and that they're re-educating people to eat. And so it's... I'll push a brand that I support, regardless of whether mm. I get paid or not. Chanel, um, thank you for coming in. Thanks I'm sorry that me. you had such horrible things. Next time I will be skinny and I may wear a yellow bikini for you. All right, well, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, double my you don't have to do that. <laughs> you do not have you to do that at all. Like, no um, thank you very much. Thank nice you. To see you. All right.